very pleased to be able to introduce this interview with Dr. Pietro Bambula, who works at the National Bank of Poland and is a member of our stakeholder group, which gives great support to the work of the FESOD project. He is here speaking in his own capacity, and he is, being, he is talking here to Professor Jan Toporowski of the School of Oriental African Studies at the University of London. Uh, Dr. Bambula, we, uh, we've, uh, there's, been, there's been a lot of changes in the National Bank of Poland over the last 10 years or so uh, with uh, Poland's entry into the European Union. Uh, but since the crisis, there's also been changes connected with uh, regulation. Uh, could you just explain what, what's the, what role, what increasing role the National Bank of Poland is now having in, uh, in financial regulation? Of course, and with pleasure. Uh, I'll have to stress that I'm speaking my own capacity and not the views that I express are not necessarily those of the National Bank of Poland or Warsaw School of Economics, to be precise. Uh, but uh, you are very right. Uh, following the crisis, uh, there was an increasing focus in, an, uh, national, in all central banks and National Bank of Poland as well on financial stability as an important goal uh, perhaps also for monetary policy. Uh, mm, previously, the inflation targeting flame framework assumed that targeting fl inflation and output gaps was perhaps sufficient to deliver uh, a stable, sustainable growth mm. and support it. However, the crisis has shown that you could well have a stable and low inflation. Uh, the measured output gaps are, appear to be closed and yet you have financial vulnerabilities building up that lead to systemic crisis. Uh, the, already the Monetary Policy uh, Council in Poland has introduced in its guidelines uh, an additional uh, target, uh, financial stability, that it will take into account actions it has on financial stability. And uh, this to some extent reflects the, the, the threat, the very low interest rates can pose to financial stability as they increase risk-seeking and rent-seeking and increase uh, uh, by, by various uh, agents. Now, having this in mind, we, uh, the central bank will also take more active role in the macroprudential policies uh, that uh, are a very general theme emerging after the crisis, uh, that we see that the Microfinancial regulation that uh, that used to be the the, mm, the responsibility for of supervisor before the crisis failed to acknowledge the uh, that uh, soundness of individual entity may not necessarily imply soundness of the whole system and one has to take into account the interconnections between them and the complexity to to a large extent. This is what about to, to, to what the macro potential policy is essentially, uh, as it is uh, implemented or will be implemented in Poland, is about delivering financial stability and uh, uh, to be, well, uh, we are not yet there in terms of legislation. The political process is longer than expected, uh, but the draft regulation uh, um, is that uh, there will be a Council made of four members, with chairman being the uh, the governor of the National Bank of Poland. Uh, the other members will be the mm, uh, mm, minister of finance, the head of the financial supervisory authority, and uh, bank guarantee fund. So four of them, with the chairman having the golden voice, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so we have split 50-50. Uh, he will decide, and this body will um, deliver recommendations on comply or explain uh, mm, base uh, to financial authority and uh, bank guarantee fund mm. and will be essentially responsible for the macro potential policy uh, that is envisaged in uh, European regu uh, regulations in uh, CRD4 and CRR. Uh, so uh, the central bank is already taking, uh, operationalizing this part of policy uh, inside because it will be responsible for analytical work supporting yeah. the, 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 mm, the macroprudential policy. And uh, perhaps this will be the, the biggest change since the 
the bank was established and the inflation targeting framework was, was introduced in late 90s. Now that there is an increasing and big focus on financial stability and this will not be only in terms of uh, uh, and in terms of frame in policy actually, actually rather than just uh, uh, suggestions or recommendations. Excellent. Can I, uh, what in, in Europe, I mean there has been a lot of controversy aroused by uh, the European Central Bank's liquidity provision uh, to, uh, 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 to the banking system. Uh, d has the uh, Polish Central Bank been involved in the provision of liquidity? Does it envisage any, do you envisage any uh, liquidity provision in addition to, uh, to monitoring uh, banks' uh, capital provisioning? Well, actually the Central Bank hasn't been involved so, uh, to an extent even close to what is, uh, what is happening in, in um, some major central banks. Mostly because the model, the, the, the model our banks follow is yeah. far simpler yeah. and uh, they are less complex institutions, smaller and much more focused on direct lending to households and, and corporates rather than yeah. in many developed countries where the financial markets play a more important role and the feedback effects between uh, uh, valuation and balance sheets effects are stronger there mm -hmm. and the interconnectedness is also much bigger. Uh, the, mm, the Polish banks are founded in a very stable way. Mm -hmm. Most of the credit uh, mm, expansion is founded by uh, deposits uh, and uh, this uh, makes the system very sound. Uh, so there was no necessity the, mm, though the, 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 the crisis and the collapse of Lehman Brothers, uh, uh, mm, well, uh, it put stress on, mm -hmm. I believe, on ba banks around the world. Yeah. And what we've seen, where we've seen problems, were the problems uh, linked with uh, acquiring liquidity in foreign currencies. Yeah. Uh, uh, the positive uh, side effect of this was the banks acknowledge the risk of granting foreign exchange uh, loans uh, to, to households and uh, mm, the, this combined with more suasion by the, the central bank uh, uh, resulted in uh, these loans not being granted anymore. Uh, mm, I won't be discussing pros and cons of yes. this uh, yeah. uh, the, but uh, one could only, in, well, to indicate two effects, the externalities it creates, negative ones, is that even though from individual point of view the foreign exchange loan is uh, can be a rational decision to take, mm -hmm. uh, one when it does not account that it increases the probability of financial crisis and uh, the negative effects on the others. So this is one negative and externality. And, to s and the second issue is that uh, it uh, mm, uh, uh, diminishes the effectiveness of monetary policy. And to the extent you believe that monetary policy has some merits, uh, you wouldn't like it to happen. Uh, so we, uh, there was, uh, there was a, even a public discussion mm -hmm. about the necessity of supporting, of liquidity support to, the, to, to Polish bank and injection, injecting money mm -hmm. uh, into the bank so that uh, uh, there was a discussion inside of the bank. Uh, but looking at uh, the, the soundness of, of banks, we've seen that even though we, the the central bank has reserved the uh, possibility to draw on liquidity from, from other agents, it was not necessary. Excellent. Excellent. Do you, um, let me uh, move on to the, bro the broader provision of uh, credit within or credit growth in the, uh, in the Polish economy uh, to different sectors, uh, to, to households um, as well as to businesses. Are there, do, does the Polish central bank have any concerns about the growth of uh, credit in, in recent, uh, um, in the last couple of years? Well, actually it did to some extent, and there are two dimensions of it, the uh, dynamic and the uh, structure mm. uh, where it is allocated. So first, prior to the crisis, there was uh, an, uh, a big momentum in mortgage lending uh, so a uh, large part of credit mm -hmm. was granted to households and, to, and that was mortgage related mm -hmm. and uh, in a large extent also in foreign currency. Mm -hmm. So 
So that was an, uh, a concern and there were recommendations uh, by the Financial Supervisor Agency uh, that, uh, uh, that banks should uh, uh, well monitor uh, the credit uh, worthiness of clients' situations more thoroughly and should be uh, uh, more cautious while granting these credits. Uh, these have uh, the, mm, the crisis made uh, the expansion of these credits stop. Uh, however, the, uh, the general theme that the banks channel funds mostly to households rather than to com corporates uh, remained. Mm -hmm. And this, was, this, this is one of the question marks uh, that is being, uh, being raised, uh, whether this is desirable, because the, the empirical studies show that in the, while socially desirable, uh, mm, granting a credit to, to households is socially desirable, it is not necessarily as strongly growth promoting as uh, granting credit to, to corporates. Uh, so uh, mm, this, uh, there is perhaps a research going on. Uh, uh, why is that the case? Uh, what are the, the, the reasons for these decisions? Because in many European countries, it's not, not necessarily the case that, those are house, that, that these are households that are receiving the bulk of credit, but, uh, but often corporates. And uh, mm, this is uh, the second thing that was on the radar uh, um, in the central bank.